Howdy folks, going on a bit of a adventure today. Uh, this place is actually down in uh, Sapphire Coast of New South Wales. I've never been here before. I'm not chasing any sunrise, sunrises or sunsets today, but I'm actually come out here to scout a waterfall. I've seen a few times before in, on social media, but I've never actually uh, come down here and taken photos of anything and it looks pristine so we're gonna do our scouting mission if there's a cloud that covers the that gets in front of the Sun for a few minutes I'll take a photo see what we get but uh, the idea is scout mission I have my GPS on as I said I've never been here before so I'm just checking the walk the walk seems pretty simple uh, we are kind of descending now into into a bit of a valley. I'm pretty sure it's not a long walk because I can pretty sure I can hear um, the waterfall. So off we go. That's incredible. I'm gonna do a bit of scouting with the drone, see what kind of shots I can get. But I will come here uh, when it's a bit of a cloudy day or maybe earlier in the morning or afternoon. I do have the sun kind of just over the, the treetops. So I don't think, you know, in a, in a winter's day, you probably even get any sort of sun coming through. So you get heaps of shade for, to uh, minimize overexposure. Fly the drone a bit and then see what we get. Yes, got some good shots, real potential for uh, when I come on a more of a cloudier day. So um, definitely worth the, what is it, one kilometer height. Walk, a lot of fun. I'm gonna get my camera out a bit now and See if I can get some camera shots. Cloudy, definitely, for a couple of minutes. So let's do that quickly. We'll go again. All right, that was uh, less than a couple of minutes. That was probably about 30 seconds. What I'm gonna do is just take a few, I guess, snapshots, really, just to see what, what, what it looks like in terms of composition. And then, as I said before, I'll come back in another time when it's a little bit better. I might go shallow depth of the field because I mean f2 f2.8 because 
really the interest to me is the waterfall and the rocks surrounding it. There's a quite a few kind of beautiful patterns and, and layers, especially if we were to get the sun on that side and get that beaming through. So by the looks of it, that might be more kind of summer evening. But anyway, as I said, this is a scouting mission. So we'll get a few shots. Whoop, make sure you don't fall over. And get an idea for next time. It's absolutely stunning. And as you would have seen already in the drone footage, there's a couple of tiers there. It's going kind of that way. So definitely next time we'll have to come around a different way and see what we can, uh, what we can get in terms of the other tiers, how close we can get and see if we can get a good shot. Because I reckon it's going to be mint. This place is an absolute gem. I'm here on a Thursday and there's not a single person here. Short walk, the, the road here is absolutely fine to get to and uh, as you can see, it's, it's an absolutely stunning place. Great for, you can bring your family if you wanted to, picnic, whatever it is, and uh, you get a beautiful dip dip pool um, one one thing to note though a lot of people come here and dive especially the locals over the weekends and there has been fatalities before and also severe injuries so make sure if you do come around here make sure you are you're very safe and uh, I wouldn't mind hearing uh, any tips and tricks on how to photograph this place because uh, at the moment I don't think there's too much of of um, you know, foreground or midground to uh, to photograph. So, if you want to share your wisdom, please do. In the meantime, like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out my Instagram. Until next time, hooroo.